Hey trail over at Go Hunt. I'm up here at my local archery range. Uh, off season is a great time to get your bow and arrow out, start shooting, start practicing so that you are proficient come fall. Uh, I've got four tips or four drills for you to think about uh, that I think are gonna really help you improve, become more accurate so that you're that much more effective in 2022. So the first one is just to set up a phone. Everybody's got a phone in their pocket now and record yourself. So record yourself through the entire process. So, you know, your stance, your grip, um, the way that you draw the bow, the way that you find your anchor point, what you look like at full draw, are you leaning back, are you leaning forward, and then execute a shot. Most phones you can actually film in slow motion right now, so that's a great method to evaluate your entire form, your ex execution, and then also your shot process. I would say that's the first step in the process. It's something I like to do periodically. The first of the year is a great time to do that. You know, have a buddy or just set your phone up yourself, go through that entire process, evaluate it. You know, what are you doing right? What are you doing wrong? That's gonna help you further down the road be able to focus on those factors that you need to improve on. So that's the first step. Set up a phone, film it, the entire process. Form, shot execution, the entire thing, and evaluate it for where you can get better. All right, so my second tip is to get yourself a release aid trainer. Uh, this is a firing line release trainer. You can build your own at home with a grip, a piece of rope, and a piece of D-loop. Essentially what you're gonna do is set this up so it's at your exact draw length, and you can do this anytime you've got some downtime. Most of us work at a desk, unfortunately, nowadays. Anytime I'm sitting at my desk, if I'm taking phone calls, a lot of the times I'm hooking up my release and I'm just simply practicing uh, at my desk using a release aid trainer. So these are really handy. Uh, they're not that expensive, and like I said, you can set them up for your draw length. It's going to give you the opportunity to essentially draw a bow and shoot um, without ever you know having to pick up your bow and shoot some arrows so you can go through the exact same process that you would with your bow find your anchor point settle in relax pull through the shot execute a shot you can do that hundreds of times at your desk this is a really really nice way to work through things like your grip and shot execution with your release. Uh, I would say your release hand is really a critical key point to accuracy. You wanna make sure you do it every single time and the best way to do that is reinforce good habits by using a shot aid trainer in your downtime. All right, so my third tip is blank bell shooting. Uh, this is a form of practice that I utilize all the time. It's great for this time of year because you can do it indoors, but essentially what blank bell shooting is, is shooting at a blank bell with no target face. You wanna do it at a close distance, so maybe five to six feet so that you make sure that you're gonna impact the target every time and not send an arrow through you know, your wall in your basement, which I've done. Essentially the point of blank bell shooting is to not focus on aiming. You don't wanna focus on the end point. You don't wanna focus on impact. You don't want to have to worry about that. Rather, your focus should be on your form and your shot execution. So you want a blank bell shoot to reinforce good habits. So things like drawing your bow properly, finding your anchor point, you know, focusing on the little things that matter, like you know, your hand keeping it nice and flat, um, you know, pulling through the shot, remaining relaxed through your grip, uh, allowing your bow arm to, to have a natural follow through, letting that bow kind of fall forward and jump in your hand. Essentially what you want to do is establish uh, what a good shot feels like and then replicate that over and over again without having to worry about aiming. Blank belling is an excellent way to practice. I typically try to start my practice sessions with maybe 10 arrows, blank bell, close distance, not worrying at all about impact point and just thinking about good shot execution. I also like to close out practice sessions with maybe 5 to 10 arrows of blank belling again. You just want to reinforce good habits. So build good habits, reinforce them with blank bell shooting. All right, my fourth tip is a, developing a practice routine or a session. Um, some days I like to shoot, just go out and shoot arrows. Um, but one thing I do think you ought to do is establish some sort of scoring system. So maybe three times a week, establish uh, a score or a game that you play with yourself and that you can actually measure it. And then that way you can track it over time. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, really formal, um, but what you do need to do is establish some sort of scoring system. So for me, 
I've got a local range where I live. I've got a 14 target course. You know, I can shoot three arrows per end, shoot all 14 targets and keep score. And you can make up your own scoring system. Maybe the X and the, the middle ring is an 11. You know, maybe it's a 10. Whatever it is, you make up your own scoring system. Take a notebook with you, keep track of your score, document that, you know, and do it a few times a week. Um, in order to get better, you've got to develop good habits, you have to shoot for score, and you have to be able to track that over time to know if you're actually improving. So many people just go out and shoot arrows, and it's not that there's anything wrong with that, it's so that you're probably not going to get a whole lot better because there's no scoring system. You're not, you're not shooting for any reason or purpose. Anytime you put a game or create a scoring system, naturally your inclination is to try to shoot better. You're more focused, you know, every shot counts because you're tracking that over time. So I would say make up a game, you know, if you've got some buddies, all of you come up with some sort of scoring system. You know, if you've got a, a target at home and you want to shoot in your basement, same thing, put up a small Vegas face and shoot 30 arrows, uh, you know, three arrow ends, shoot for score. Um, it's trackable, and I promise you that if you do so, you'll be a better archer at the end of the season uh, than you are right now. So that's my fourth tip for you. Establish a scoring system, keep score, and track that over time. So those are my four tips for you. Just a recap. First one, document it, film it, scrutinize it, find out the areas that you can get better. Two, use a shot release trainer. You can do it at your desk when you're in front of your computer. Three, blank bell. You should be blank belling before every practice session. And four, shoot for score. Make a game, shoot for score, track it over time. I promise you'll be that much better uh, when it comes to the fall. So that's my tips and tricks for 2022 to get better. Uh, everybody wants to get better with a bow. I know I do. I want to be that much more effective in the field. Now's the time to do the work so that uh, it comes easy in the fall.